What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. So what I did today uh, to my car is I actually changed the caliper colors from... It's like a neon green caliper, like yellow highlighter green. Um, yes, they do look cool. Yes, they're bright. Yes, they are noticeable. They're really nice. But I felt that red would just look better. I don't know. There's something about the green. I love it. You know, I do love it. And... But... To have the option I wanted to change it and I had the time why not um, so yes it's not a complete perfect breakdown of the calipers tearing them apart taking all the pins out taking the pads out doing this taking the brake line off doing all that stuff no I'm not doing that I'm just doing a simple what you see covering um, you know I cleaned them very well I'm using VHT high heat caliper paint um, the anodized, it's kind of like a candy red. It changes from almost like a dark red to a more of a, a, a hint of orange, uh, like a candy red. So it's really, really, really nice, really bright red. I mean, it'll just go with the car. Everything with the car right now is black and red and burgundy and stuff like that. So uh, I think it's going to look really good. I also got some new speakers for the car so Subaru makes a plug and play kicker upgraded speaker set that I went ahead and installed and holy freaking crap I, I I just I don't know what to say the difference is absolutely insane very easy took me like 20 minutes door panels come off so easy nothing breaks everything simple three screws one clip for each speaker and the tweeters as well look at the difference here so you got the regular one on the left and then the right is the upgraded one it's like 10 ounces to five and the the upgraded one is like five pounds the weight and the quality difference is absolutely insane but moving on we have the brake calipers here so first we did the silver coats the base coat then i did a few red coats here after we did those red coats, I let it dry. After I let it dry for 30, 40 minutes, I went ahead and put on my high heat Brembo stickers. Once I finished putting on all the high heat Brembo stickers, um, what I did is I used the VHT clear coat. It's a high heat clear coat. I put that over the red and the stickers to sort of uh, like seal in the stickers. So the Brembo's and the stickers, you know, the stickers especially will be protected and um, they won't, you know, come off or at any point. All right, guys. So here's the paint that we used. Um, the anodized base coat from VHT. This is like a chrome silver base coat. Um, I was going to do a gold as well, but it just didn't look any different. And then the anodized color coat, which is the red. As you can see here, it's kind of like a, it's a candy red. I mean, they only have one red in the anodized. So that's the one that I went with. Um, for high heat, of course, base coat, they're all high heat, safe for calipers. And then what I did is I went ahead after the color, so three coats of the base silver, three coats of the red, and then we put on the Brembo stickers after we let it dry for a little bit. And we finished it with about three light to medium coats of clear high heat caliper paint to just overall protect it and um, protect the stickers more importantly. Now I can almost guarantee I'm going to get some questions in the comments regarding um, some other people that know stuff about cars and painting and stuff like that. Yes, I know um, to do this properly, you probably should have covered the car um, and stuff like that. But there was a slight breeze going the other way that day um, and the car was overall just totally coated in a layer of dirt. Um, the car was just totally covered in a layer of the dirt. I haven't washed it in a few days because I knew I would be coming up here to do the calipers. Um, so basically, even if any overspray got on the paint, it would be landing on the top of the dirt and the dust and it wouldn't even get to lock into that paint. And I checked everywhere. 
absolutely no overspray on the vehicle whatsoever. It is completely fine. Um, and once I give it a wash, you know, I can give it a nice clay bar and everything just to make sure. But overall, the car is perfect. No overspray, no overspray on anything that I didn't want overspray onto. Everything was perfectly fine. You know, the masking did pretty well. Um, and overall, I mean, it looks, it looks factory. Like it looks so freaking good. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, you know, make sure to give it a like and a sub and all that good stuff. If you're following me for the car videos and everything that I do with this, um, you know, without a doubt, 100% something that I will be doing to this car in the summer. I don't know if I'm going to wrap it myself like I did my other one. I don't know if i'm going to get it uh auto flex which is basically like a sprayable um paint it well it's a paint that you spray but it can also be peeled like a wrap and you have more color options but i would have to get it done by someone else and then i couldn't film it and stuff so i don't know what i'm gonna do in terms of wrap guys for this car but what i do know is that i'm definitely going to keep you guys updated and thanks for watching and peace out guys